going on everybody hope everybody is doing well today we're going to be taking my exodia contagion zaw that has zero forma and pairing that with the condition overload mod and we're going to see just how much damage we can do with this combo right here i've made quite a few videos on this topic here recently but i haven't actually paired condition overload with a zaw that has zero forma in it i will be on chroma prime because chroma prime paired with zaws is absolutely crazy he has two multiplicative damage buffs for zaws one of them being toxin elemental ward and the other buff being fury from vex armor and we do got to keep in mind that condition overload is also a multiplicative damage buff and on top of all of that we also have vigorous swap so that's four multiplicative damage buffs for this build and obviously four multiplicative damage buffs on any weapon is gonna make them even stronger especially in exodia contagion zol I will be priming up the enemies with the Kuva Nucor that I have right here. As you can see, I have secondary dexterity on this Nucor. Normally, I would rock secondary encumber, but we have secondary dexterity today for that extra combo duration. If I take a look at the combo duration that I actually have on my Zaw, it is a whopping 20 seconds. And honestly, 20 seconds on the combo duration is not the worst for a zero form of weapon. And to make this weapon even stronger, I will be building up the melee combo counter with the weapon, which is exactly why the combo duration is so important. The longer we can keep that 12 times bonus from the combo multiplier the longer we can actually do more damage with the exodia contagion zaw especially because i actually have the blood rush mod on this zaw for extra crit chance and after all of that there is one more buff that's going to help us hit a lot of damage with this zaw and that is the void strike skill with the Madurai operator school this skill right here will give you a 1000 percent damage buff for eight seconds and yeah ladies and gentlemen with all that being said i think it's time we go ahead and test out this build in the steel path mission let's get it and today i think we're going to go ahead and head over to phobos and do this steel path corpus survival i have a magnetic build with the kuva nucor so it's going to be quite effective against the corpus enemies first things first we're going to build up a vex armor buff while simultaneously creating some energy orbs with the tenet glaxion once everybody's fully frozen to be honest with you i could just throw out the zaw and <laughs> do some pretty nice damage what was that 20 million by just throwing out the zaw point blank against some enemies that are only frozen i don't even know if i had norse active at that time but either way the damage we can do with a setup like this is already crazy enough but what happens when i activate Activate Toxin Elemental Ward and then use the Kuva Nucor as a primer, huh? Yeah, that that's what happens. All right, that <laughs> what the fuck was that damage? I don't even know. All right, prime all these enemies up and there we go. Up. Uh, all right. Yep. Yeah, again, a lot of damage. I'm seeing a lot of 20 millions, a lot of 19 million, 17 millions around that range. And yes, I am aware I can change my visual numbers to compact numbers, but I kind of like the chaos and seeing the numbers through the chaos. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're at a 12 times combo multiplier. There we go. We can now hit red crits with the Zaw, thanks to the Blood Rush mod. Once we prime up these enemies, we're doing some pretty decent damage. That's 28 million point blank. Prime up these enemies again, throw out the Zaw. I couldn't even read all those numbers. But that's just the price I'm gonna have to pay for looking so badass, man. Like, goddamn. Alright, now let's see how much damage the Zaw can do at 30 meters. I'm really curious. Um, I saw 89 million, I'm pretty sure. That, that looked like a lot more, but at the end of the day, it's so hard to tell. What's... Wait, what's that 251 million point blank, dude? Wait, come on now, what? I don't know if that actually was, but either way, Zaws can do some crazy damage when you pair them with Condition Overload and a really good primer. I mean, you see the results for yourself. I think I'm gonna prime up all these enemies right here, activate the Madurai Void Strike skill. One, two, three, and Kobe. How much damage we doing? 142 million? Was that 206 million as well? The damage we can do with this zero form of weapon is more than enough for what I need in this survival mission. 106 million point blank. God damn. Damn. 129 million point blank. Okay, there we go. 428 million point blank with a zero form of weapon. Wow, that was pretty fucking cool, huh? 157 million point play oh dude i just i'm in love with this setup right here even if it's not a damage cap build necessarily you can still do crazy amounts of damage climb up these enemies throw out the zaw 305 million with a yellow crit oh dude that is beautiful unfortunately i have dropped the combo counter but ladies and gentlemen at the end of the day i think i've proven my point just fine chroma with an exodia contagion zaw is already broken enough but when you pair that zaw with the condition overload 
Shield mod, and then you have your Chroma Prime have a really good setup that can make your melee weapons even stronger. I mean, dude, the Zaws just cook no problem. Especially when you have an absolute badass primer weapon like the Koopa Nucor. God damn, man, it just goes to show you when your mod setup's correct on both your Warframe and your weapon, you could do some crazy fucking damage. Even if you're solo. 400 million point blank solo? Oh yeah, I'll take that all day. And uh, yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you guys think of my Zero Form Azal paired with Condition Overload down below. Before this video ends, real quick, just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all the support on the channel. I really do appreciate all the positive and hilarious comments that you guys leave in the comment section. And yeah guys, that's pretty much gonna be it for me. Keep your head up, stay positive. And with that being said, thanks for watching.